21 consecutive rounds now under par. Does it ever get old when you keep shooting rounds like you did today? No, I guess not. Um, but yeah, you know, I just try and take one shot at a time, one round at a time, and you know, every course is different. But yeah, you know, it's it's good to know that you know I'm playing solid golf, and uh, you know I can you know be confident when I'm playing out there. So I know we sat through a four-hour delay earlier. What time did you get up this morning, and how long has this day seemed to you? Uh, I woke up at you know 4:50. And uh, you know, I got to the tee and it had been seven hours since I woke up. But you now I had a little nap um, after the first delay uh, and then had a second breakfast and the second delay. So yeah, it hasn't been too bad, um, but you know, it's going to be a, an early night tonight. Lydia, a couple of your fellow players were in here and said they're just kind of amazed by what you do round after round after round. You make it seem so simple. Is it just a matter for you? put it in the fairway, put it on the green, put, I mean, you don't seem caught up in everything that's going on, number one player in the world or any of that. I know, I, like I said before, I like to take it one shot at a time and I think that kind of makes it much easier rather than saying, okay, I have a whole, whole 72, you know, holes for the whole week. Um, but, you know, I think if I try and put it into portions, it makes it a little bit more simple and, no, I, I always say there's not much gun in my head, so you know, I like to keep it simple. You've made a tremendous up and down on 18. It looked like green was sloping away from you. Had a, you know, that, that pitch shot that, that was short there. Fantastic. Then you go off and, and birdie one. Um, do you get into the rhythm of a round, and do you get excited when you make a great up and down and say, okay, now I've got things going? Or is it just, oh, you know, oh, well, hit another good shot? Yeah, um, I recommend everybody who's going to play that hole to not be there <laughs> where I was. Um, it was it was pretty slopey, and you know I could see that the grain was going away from me, and you know I made a good up and down, and then that made that good birdie. But you know, I think I kind of got a got an assist from Michelle's putt on the first hole. But you no, know, I guess when you're playing good, you kind of get in that zone, and uh, you know you you're you're not worrying about the missed shots or you know what ifs. Uh, but you now after my three putt on this the seventh hole, which is my 16th, that's when like what ifs kind of happened, and that's why I think I kind of left my putt on nine short. But I, you know, I guess when you're playing good, you automatically automatically go into the rhythm without thinking about it.